Welcome to Smacky's Garage. Today we're going to be finishing up the fold down rear seat on the 1969 Mustang. I'm going to put the last piece in and then we'll take a look at how it functions, how it operates, and we'll do an overview of the parts necessary and where everything connects to. So I've had the fold down rear seat out of this car for quite some time. And one of the things that I have been wanting to do is put it back in. I have the majority of it in, except for this one last piece here, where I've been running into a lot of trouble with the chrome pieces on the side. I decided to replace them with reproduction parts and they didn't fit that well. So I've been slowly massaging them so that they fit better. I don't remember where I bought them. I don't think I spent a lot of money on them. You know, if I were to do it again, this would not be a piece that I cheap out on. Maybe at some point I'll end up replacing the chrome again on these, but you know, Everything didn't fit that great, but hopefully the seat operates as it should, but you know, we're going to try it out. We're going to put it in place and we're going to go through kind of how it operates, what to do with it and how it works. Now that we have the rear folding seat in place, we can go ahead and take a look. So the rear folding seat consists of a few parts. We have these three pieces here, one, two, and three. You have the trap door all the way in the back, and then you have the trim that comes with it. So that trap door does open, so you could put something long in here. If you wanted to carry a two by four or something, you could, but I don't know why you would. So the way that the folding seat works is this piece all folds up. So that's stage one. So that piece folded up. Step two, this goes up. And then on the other side of this, there's gonna be two pins. These pins open up, drop this into place. Okay, so now that that's in place, you can see this is good. So on these, there'll be bumpers. They're supposed to be rubber pieces on the end here to make sure that it doesn't rattle. This, you can see it's not in place right now, so it would rattle a little bit forward and backwards. Now let's go ahead and talk about how the seat goes in place. So there's going to be four places that you locate the seat. Now that this is up in the car, you can see that the seat, you have the piece that goes on the floor. So that seat is the bottom one over here. So that seat, you're gonna have two clips, one, two, those two clips are where the seat slides in and then there's gonna be brackets on the floor which are actually missing on this because it's had the floor replaced. So there's gonna be two brackets right here and right there. I need to find some pictures of them but this car does not have them so they need to be installed or else that seat is gonna slide forward. For the rear seat, you have the part that goes up here. This clips into the top with these clips right here. So with these in place, it'll hold that rear seat and it won't fly forward. When you go to put this rear seat in place, you're gonna put it in place and then you're gonna push down and then up. So you're gonna push the bottom down and then you're gonna push it up and then it'll snap into place on the bottom pieces if they're in place, but right now I don't have them. This is how I pretty much intend to be using the rear seat or the fold down seat. I'm gonna leave the bottom seats in place. I don't have the top piece. I have one here but it's actually, it's not the right one for the car. With the way that I intend to use the car, I'm always gonna be using the car with the folding seat at the down position. I don't drive with people in the back of this car. It's not, it's really not that comfortable unless you're very small. So I'm planning on using it just for the speakers and to hold the speakers in place while I'm driving around. It makes a good platform to hold them. It lines them up at the perfect spot so they're right behind you. You know, not having a full four speaker stereo system in this car. It's definitely different than kind of what I have in my F-150. So having only two speakers, you really need to have them kind of close by and firing in a way that you get some sort of surround around the car. The weather's finally starting to get nicer outside and I can't wait to start driving the car. For today, we're kind of in a monsoon out there where we have 50 mile per hour winds, rain, I'm really hoping it washes away a lot of the salt that's on the roads and we can get that going. We've had a few late season snowstorms. I think we're just 
We're supposed to get about an inch of snow tonight, but we'll see where we end up. I'm really excited to start driving the car, especially with all the mods and things that we did over the winter. Uh, next week, what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up taking off the scoop on the top of the car and we're gonna put the hood turn signals in. I have parts coming from National Parts Depot so that we can finish that off and see that unique feature to the 1969 Mustang. Thanks for tuning in to Smackers Garage. I'll see you next time.